Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to my podcast, Back to the Feminine, where I strive to motivate, inspire, and restore all women alike to their true feminine power, especially black women. So today I wanted to talk about a very important topic that I feel like is really crucial to moving forward in this channel and with my podcast, what I'm really um, trying to get across to women here, and, and it's why we need to learn to be feminine again and why learning to be feminine is so important for black women. Um, there are so many reasons why femininity is so important for all women to fully understand what it looks like and what it's not, especially because in today's modern society, we have a lot of mixing going on between the genders. Gender roles are very confused. Um, right now, men don't really know how to be men and women don't know how to be women. And I feel like, I genuinely feel like black women especially need to relearn how to be feminine for their own safety and their own survival. Um, you see, the thing about being a feminine woman is that we have a power that's just different than, you know, the strength of men. Women have always been, um, you know, of a different essence. And I feel like the more we push the more society pushes women to be masculine, a lot of women are losing that essence and losing their understanding of what it means to even be a feminine woman. And so I have a couple of points here that I really want to talk about, and I'm going to try my best to keep this uh, podcast um, within reasonable length, but I'm really, really passionate about this topic because um, I do believe that black women are the least feminine um, women in society today. Uh, I look at every other race or every other, you know, ethnic group as more feminine before I look at black women being feminine. And I want to unpack why that is, how we got so far away from um, being feminine. Now, of course, there are many, many layers to this. And, you know, it can't all be unpacked in one podcast. There are so many different aspects to why black women have such a hard time with being feminine as opposed to constantly being masculine. But I'm going to um, get into it. Why learning or relearning femininity is so important to women, especially black women. Um, I will be getting into, um, you know, teaching how to be feminine again in future podcasts. But today I want to talk about why it's so important for black women to be feminine in this podcast. Um, the first point I have is that we are generally too masculine. So Generally, when you think about black women or, you know, you ask somebody what they think about black women, they think about women that are strong, independent, uh, hustlers, you know, women that don't need no man kind of thing. And very rarely do you think of black women being uh, feminine and, you know, soft, uh, soft women, you know, society for the most part believes and and really truly does treat women as though we black women as though we are completely just hardened beings we have no feelings um we can't feel pain and you know there are so many layers to that in itself especially in the healthcare sector but i'm not going to get into that in this video um right now i want to focus on that we are generally too masculine a lot of black women have never seen a feminine woman you know in their household their mother was probably very masculine and their grandmother was probably very masculine. And a lot of black women don't even know that they are being masculine. This is what I'm trying to really unpack with this channel and, and show black women that these things that we've been doing for so many generations, we need to stop because it's not working for us. We are actually worsening you know, our own conditions, our households by trying to continuously be masculine. And so you know, the fact that a lot of black women are generally masculine that's the way society has just stereotyped us. And um, a lot of young black women are trying to learn how to be feminine, but they still don't really know what it is that they need to do in order to become more feminine. And um, femininity has very little to do with hair and makeup. It's, it's very much so about uh, your attitude, your behavior, the way you view yourself, the way you treat yourself. Um, I believe that femininity is 
is in all essence just self-love. But so, um, you know, we are generally too masculine. That is one point. The next point, very important, is that men do not look at black women as feminine. And um, we can see this in the dating world especially and you know in particularly by other cultures um other races they don't look at black women as feminine women they don't look at black women as being women that need to be provided and protected and and cared for they look at black women as you know independent they don't need no help they don't need no man um they don't need anything from you know from you they look at black women as being the type of women that you know will pay for their own dates and and pay you know they, they expect black women to work twice as hard and you'll see this especially in the dating you know area where men will pursue black women because simply because they know that black women work very hard and men that tend to do this uh, are normally men that want to build off of black women's backs and they don't want to help that woman out. They don't want to be the provider and be the protector for her. Instead, they want her to provide and protect them. And um, you can see this kind of dynamic between a, a single mother and a son, where that son will look at his mother as kind of like um, a masculine woman, where she's bringing in the bread and she's working two and three jobs and she's providing for him. And that idea, that behavior. Um, follows up on into relationships and, and marriages and things like that um, where you have black men that will not provide for black women they will not care for them the same way but if they were to get a non-black woman or a lighter skinned black woman all of a sudden now um, they're a provider you know all of a sudden they're a protector and it's 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 generally because black women are not very feminine don't know how to be and so it does not activate, you know, in a man's behavior, how to be masculine either. You see, in the black community, we have a lot of feminine men and we have a lot of masculine women. That's why our black community is so dysfunctional, because a lot of people are in the wrong role. It's not working. It's not fitting. And so, you know, it's very important for black women to learn to be feminine, because once you learn how to be more feminine, then black men can start to kind of realign themselves in how to be more masculine and not just black men, but all kinds of men that have really lost, you know, what it is to be a masculine man. Being a masculine man has nothing to do with how many weights you lift at the gym and, and, and you know, how fit you are or, any, or how aggressive you can be. That's not what masculinity is. And, um, a lot of the times in my channel, when I reference to masculinity, I'm specifically talking about men that provide and protect their families, provide for and protect their families. Those are the men that I'm talking about. And so, you know, a lot of men don't look at black women as being um, worthy of being provided for or protected because they automatically look at black women as you know, another masculine counterpart. Um, a lot of black men will com will complain that black women are not very, very feminine um, when then them they themselves aren't even masculine. But you see, it's harder for the black man to see where he isn't being masculine when he doesn't even have an image um, or an example of what a feminine black woman looks like. As I said in future podcasts, I will be going into more in depth of how to be feminine. I'll be doing a whole series on that, unpacking different topics there. My next point is that the media generally portrays black women as either overly masculine or overly sexual. Um, I'm sure there are some some movies out there, but I can tell you that I've, I haven't seen a lot of movies where they, you know, they showcase black women in a feminine, soft, dainty light. Um, black women are either extremely masculine, hard workers, um, always tired, you know, a servant to someone, um, working two and three jobs in the movie, a single mother, you know, struggling to make ends meet. 
kind of thing, or they're overly sexual, you know, um, and we know what that looks like already. So you see, the media does this one on purpose to kind of continue on that stereotype, but two, because that is kind of how black women, you know, that's kind of how we are. Um, a lot of black women are overly sexual and they confuse being sexual with being feminine. And that's something I'm really noticing with, um, with younger black girls. They think that, you know, being feminine and being attractive is tied into how sexual they can be. Um, and if they're not being extremely sexual, they are being, you know, that hard worker, working overtime, working two and three jobs, you know, trying to make it work, hustler, all of that stuff. And so it's really, really important that black women understand being feminine is so crucial to our image as well. We need to tidy up our image in the media. Um, I don't support a lot of mainstream rap artists and things like that because they continue on these stereotypes as well. They continue on that image of black women only being hustlers and sexual being um, sex objects and and they don't really showcase black women to be feminine and you know poise and things and classy they don't I, there's very few images um, or examples of black women like that so this is extremely important you know becoming a feminine black woman is so important because there are not many examples of that. Many black women have a hard time even grasping that there is such thing as being feminine as opposed to being sexual. Being sexual and being feminine, they tie into each other, but they're still very separate. You can be a very, very feminine woman without exerting excessive sexual energy. And a lot of men not just black men, all kinds of men, when they look at black women, they immediately think of, you know, sex objects. When, when a black, when, when any man interacts with a black woman, it's generally with a sexual approach, you know, or an overly lustful approach. Or he approaches her as though she's kind of like another man, not a woman that deserves to be cared for and, you know, provided for and treated well and things like that. He approaches her as kind of like, you know, uh, uh, another masculine counterpart. Um, in other countries, those countries immediately look at black women as sex objects. Um, easy, okay? Black women are looked at as very easy to sleep with, you know? Um, I've noticed this with men from other cultures they will try to sleep with black women, but they will never marry them. They will never date them. They will never treat them properly. They will just immediately try to sleep with them. And when it comes time to treating a woman right and dating a woman, you know, courting, whatever you want to use, um, and marrying a woman, they are not doing that to black women. They are going right back to their, their women okay, from their country or women that are just non-black in general. I've seen this happen so many times. And a lot of black women don't understand that it, the change starts with us. Men are not going to respect us until we adjust our behavior and adjust the way that we um, treat ourselves. Sleeping with a man, being sexual and intimate and all these things with a man is not going to make him stick by you um, in the long run, okay, th there are more aspects to why a man stays with a woman or why a man will respect a woman. And a lot of black women do not have high self-esteem and they don't love themselves enough to understand that their value is not just tied into how big their butts are or, um, you know, how tight they are and things like that. If you listen to a lot of, um, dance hall music, Jamaican dance hall music, the music is predominantly about, um, about sex. And the music is, is predominantly about, you know, women taking other women's partners and, and how better, you know, how much better they, they are sexually with the man versus her and all kinds of foolishness. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 
Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And when you look at the quality of those cultures that, that continuously promote these kinds of um, ideologies, you see the the um, you see the decline of of a quality a substantial relationship. You see the decline of family life. You just see the decline of morality. Um, you see that women are very sexual and men are are um, you know they don't really stay with one woman. They're they're constantly sleeping around, having kids everywhere. And you see this kind of stuff um, continue in societies where those things are promoted. And the last point I want to talk about today is that if women, if black women learn how to be more feminine, it will improve our community overall and restore our, our original position um, and our nature. OK, so I'm going to be going more in depth into the nature of a black woman, the nature of women, period, what that even is. Um, I've said this, you know, not on my podcast, but I've said this in other places that Men and women are not equal. Never have been and never will be. Men and women are complementary. And until black women understand that they are complementary and they are, they are um, valued in a different way, they will stop trying to fight so hard to be the masculine counterpart and be the man. Okay? And they will go back to being the feminine woman that takes care of themselves, takes care of their family, takes care of their children, their husbands, and we can go back to that order. But that's not going to happen anytime soon until um, black women understand that their behaviors as of current are very, very masculine. Um, a lot of women nowadays are masculine. And it's sad, but especially black women. Black women are especially masculine. And I'm so excited to go more in depth in future podcasts to unpack how black women can learn to be more feminine and how we can learn to um, to change the way society views us simply by changing our behaviors and our attitudes. But I hope you guys enjoyed my few points. I don't want to get too, too in depth and make this video really, really long. Feel free to leave your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section, um, respectfully, of course. I really want people to understand that my podcasts are done out of sheer love for the black community and for black women. I'm tired of seeing black women be mistreated and abused. And the change starts with us. And it's, it's the change has to be going back to being feminine and loving ourselves a bit more. Thank you guys for tuning in on Back to the Feminine. Can't wait to get back with you guys on another video.